we can hand this over now to um, Till, and Till will talk about uh, a common PHP library to talk to Opencast, um, which is something that probably all of the major um, learning management systems are interested in. So take it away, Till, and let us know what you want to do. Well, thank you. Um... I hope that Fabot uh, is able to um, share his uh, camera. Uh, yeah, there he is. That's my colleague Fabot. So we're doing this together today. Um, he's the one who started the development on this library. So the idea generally is we have uh, different plugins for different learning management systems, and they all are using their own code to connect to the Opencast API, or especially the REST endpoints. And we had the idea, so why do we do that? Why don't we, don't we share? our resources or combine our resources and have a common library. And then we came up with the simple idea, which uh, might just seem obvious, but nobody did it yet. <laughs> just create a composer package of this. So, um, which will then be published to packages. And so you can just uh, require it in your own project. And you have got a, a stable API, which can be uh, developed further. So, the idea is um, the idea of the API would be you have a, a simple configuration and you have uh, all the endpoints what uh, which an LMS would need or hopefully need. Uh, so we'll come to that uh, just in a moment. Um, and, and to have uh, some uh, common issues you have when you develop the API uh, against Opencast, uh, some some uh, things that you're not quite used to when you're uh, talking to the Opencast REST endpoints. We all know. There could be sometimes a little bit unexpected results. And uh, the idea would be this API will just take care of that stuff for you. So you don't have to do it. And uh, if an issue arises, you can just fix it in the API and it will be fixed for all uh, projects that depend on that. So we, uh, it, we, we uh, um, created a list of endpoints which we think uh, are useful from, uh, from, right, from right off the bat. And that's, of course, uh, the endpoints of the external API, where the events and series resides, uh, and maybe some others. Um, but this list is not a definite. Uh, that's just uh, as what we from experience now know what uh, we, we might need. So Farbot is, uh, uh, has developed on the Moodle plugin a lot in the Opencast plugin, so he knows what's needed there. And I'm developing the uh, Opencast plugin for uh, Studer P, so I, need what, uh, so I know what we need there, and we just uh, aggregated it. But we are open to discussion on that and open for any input. So the, what would also be taken care of? So uh, it's also necessary sometimes to take care of the Opencast version that is used in the backend. So that uh, because uh, endpoints might change and uh, so the data that's uh, retrieved from the endpoint might change as well. And what we would like to do in the API is to be able to uh, mitigate any problems that arise from that and have a coherent current um, API to, to work with multiple Opencast versions. We haven't decided yet uh, which span of versions we will support, uh, but uh, yeah, that's, that will come in time. What will not be included, and in since this is a backend PHP library, uh, the, all the LTI stuff, I mean, we could include the general uh, the creation of the LTI core, uh, but that's, uh, that's a, a front end thing. And that for now, we think this should remain in the front end uh, since uh, the LMS systems mostly got their own LPI stuff, uh, own LPI functionality, which could be facilitated. So we don't need to include it in there. So what, uh, what else to say? Um, I would be very open for suggestions and uh, for ideas what else should be taken care of. Um, we're, uh, we're freshly started with that, so it's uh, only a week old, but we already, maybe we already can, can sh uh, share some knowledge uh, details, but I would happily uh, answer the questions. So the first question I see there, is the Ingest API included already? Kind of, kind of. The thing is, um, it depends on, so the Ingest API, you would need to upload videos, of course. So uh, right off now, you have two ways, uh, at least two ways uh, from an LMS perspective, two ways to get a video into Opencast. 
One is you use the LTI front-end uploader. So you do, you do it just on the front-end. You do an, make an LTI call, you authenticate, and then you use the ingest API to push it front-end-like kind of. And you have to, the other way is the possibility to do in the back-end. The problem is if you're doing uh, ingest or video uploads in the back-end, you rewrote the whole video stream over the server where the LMS resides, and it might, in most cases, not be a good idea. <laughs> There might, uh, it might have some benefits if you do some, some fancy stuff in the backend, but uh, we found that it's kind of a problem. So right off now it's not included, but I would uh, like to hear if there are reasons why we should include it in the backend. Maybe I can comment on that since I asked that. Uh, yeah, sure. You know that the Elias and Moodle plugins um, cache uploads. So every upload is stored first on Moodle and Elias. And then later on, there's a process of pushing that forward to OpenCast, which has a nice property of uh, allowing um, retries in case OpenCast is down for some time. And um, so I, I really like this property, and it helps a lot during updates. Um, so I like the the second approach in, in your uh, list. And um, yeah, of course, the external API has some upload capabilities. But here I'm more asking. Uh, for the ingest APIs that capture agents use because it's more uh, complete, more flexible. So since we got the code already lying around in the different plugins, so well, why not? Yeah, we'll put it on the list. <laughs> I don't see a reason why not to include it. Yeah. <clears throat> so there's uh, someone uh, raised their hand. I don't know how to proceed right now, but I would just take the next question and uh, don't now uh, post the next question, but I will come back to raised hand. Uh, after we did the next questions. Um, I think only supported OC versions should be supported. Yeah, it's a, I guess that's a good idea. Um, just why not suppose the most, yeah. I, I, with this question, I, I completely agree. <laughs> okay, so you're talking about Ilias, nice. Uh, yeah, this is how already answered this. So um, we're currently uh, looking into Ilias. There is an OpenCast plugin and we are also planning on that's uh, here, as I stated, in the, you might not have seen it. Uh, I know currently of three big LMS, and Elias is, of course, one of them. So, yes, it would be nice to have Elias on board with this as well. Uh, we'll see how feasible this is for the, for the Elias plugin, but uh, at least uh, what, what the features in the plugin, uh, or the features in the API uh, are, that they should also be usable in Elias, of course. And if Elias needs some special thing, we can include. So we will not. Uh, we will include it. We will not uh, be against it. So. <laughs> so which PHP version is supported? Um, yeah, as of, yeah, seven point is not quite correct. It's uh, more seven point two, I would say, because seven point is too old, and uh, the seven point two is uh, because it's uh, should be it's, it's the minimum requirement for should be right of now. Yeah, I know it's out of it's out of support. Which is, but it's not quite true because if you look to uh, special uh, Linux releases, they they backport security patches for 7.2 as well. So yeah, it's also of support, but it's uh, might not be insecure in in different circumstances. And that's also, I guess, answers why it's not uh, 8.1 because we would like to have a broad, uh, it's a wide range of compatibility. Because the thing is, if only uh, if no one can, if only a small subset of the, the the users can really use it, it's of it's of no use, isn't it? Pagination, continuation, of course, and Git repo we will post uh, soon. TM, um, where will we post it, or can we just share it right of now? Because it's right of now, it's empty, <laughs> but it will be filled up with with our working state soon. But it will be hosted on GitHub, in the uh, on the in the Elan. Uh, group or Elanif under Elanif it will be hosted, so you'll find it there soon. So the raised uh, hand uh, disappeared. So would you like to uh, re-raise or answer uh, or re-raise your hand, or is your question already answered? <laughs> no, seems seems not the case. Okay, um, so we will we will. Um, uh, is anything uh, against it to post a link to the Git repo right of now here? Uh, it doesn't matter if it's if it's empty, but uh, we can 
share further info there in the future. So if, if someone is interested in the development of this API and also has suggestions or something like that, uh, you're free to post issues over there and uh, just uh, come into discussion with us. And uh, yeah. And I would also add, uh, this is uh, an pro ongoing project that is financed also by the state of Lower Saxony and uh, two projects that we are currently um, granted. Yes. Thanks for the reminder on that. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we are in the, in the happy situation to have the ability to do things, uh, hopefully, hopefully do good things uh, and something uh, cross platform for change. <laughs> I guess if you can add it to the shared notes, that would be nice. Um, so people know where to, to find this in the future. Okay, Fabot's working on it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. And the idea is that uh, the Shudapi plugin and the Moodle plugin uh, will try to make use of the API as soon as possible so that we are, um, combine our, our knowledge and our, our, our working on that. Yeah. So we will eat our own dog food. Sadly, I got no cats on this uh, presentation because I forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if I ever have to do a presentation here again, which might well be the case, I will add some, some ad mention. Yeah, we, we do make that a requirement for your next presentation. Yeah. Otherwise, you will never want to see you again here in our community or something like that, I guess. Yes. All right, uh, duly noted. Okay, well then, thank you very much for your presentation, Till and Fawad. Um, I, I think this will help a lot with the LMS development, uh, especially since, I mean, all three of the biggest LMS plugins we have in open source community are written in PHP. And so I think you can share a lot of code there and, and not have to reinvent the wheel every time. So I think that's a really, really good idea. And, um, yeah, so thank you for doing that.